Special thanks to Patreon support Transfighter 8 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare2 before here bringing you another Minecraft World War 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Panhard 178, also by the name of AMD 35. This was an advanced French reconnaissance 4x4 armored car that was designed for the French Army Cavalry units before World War II. It had a crew of 4, it was equipped with an effective 25mm main armament and a 7.5mm coax machine gun. A number of these vehicles were taken over by Germany in the 1940s after the fall of France and employed as the Panzer Spagwagen uh, P204F for some months after the Armistice of June production continued uh, for the benefit of Germany. So Germany started producing these as well, so it was used by both Germany and France. Uh, after the war, a derived version, the Panhard 178B, was again taken into production by France. Uh, the vehicle itself uh, saw service but from April 1937 to 1964, so it had a pretty good service life for the type of vehicle this was. Uh, it saw service in World War II, French Indochina War, and the Vietnam War, and uh, it was a uh, just you know a little scout car, <laughs> armored car, uh, very interesting design. I always like these armored cars. I think they're really um, pretty cool looking. So it's cool to build another one and um, all that stuff. Now this is a Patreon requested vehicle, so I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon support Trench Fighter 8 for making this video possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to head over to my Patreon page, link is down in the description, where you guys can go ahead and, uh, you know, pledge to donate a small month every month, uh, a small amount every month, uh, to basically support me and the channel. If you guys, uh, want to, of course, it's not required by all means, but if you, uh, do want to, you know, give a little bit of a donation, feel free to go ahead and head over there, and there's also some cool, uh, perks for doing so. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, take a look at the Panhard and, uh, see exactly what we're going to be building before we go and get into this tutorial. So, uh, to go ahead and get started with, uh, we want to go ahead and, um, you know, take a look at pretty much the vehicle itself. So we have the main gun, as I mentioned, it's a 25 millimeter, uh, main gun, which is pretty good for, uh, you know, a vehicle of this size. It's also equipped with a 7.5 millimeter coaxial machine gun, you can see right here with the end rod on the left side of the turret. It's got two radio antennas in total, as I mentioned, it's a 4x4, so it has four total wheels, two axles. Uh, it's got the front headlights, the driver's uh, basically viewport located right in this area here. Uh, the turret itself, the door on the side here for obviously the crew to get in and out of the vehicle. Uh, continuing on, you have the back vents here, um, and just the back of the vehicle in general. And um, here's the air side of it. Now, uh, Trench Fighter 8 did request that I do a little bit of a camo on it. So this green and orange type design. So that's why it has this um, little color pattern for it. I'll be showing you guys how to build the whole thing in green first. And then we'll be going ahead and having a separate little part at the end of the tutorial, which will show you guys how to put the camouflage on. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started by moving on to our first layer, layer 1. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we have layer 1. For layer 1, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking our nether brick stairs. We're going to place down two nether brick stairs upside down, back to back like this to make the right front wheel. After we have that done, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab coming off the second nether brick uh, stair. So the front of our vehicle is going to be facing this way. So this uh, front stair is going to have an, a stone brick top slab next to it. It's going to be the second stair back going more toward the rear of the vehicle. Uh, after that stone brick top slab there, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab, another stone brick top slab after that. We're then going to place down another brick up sound stair with another narrow brick up sound stair on the back of it, like that to make the second wheel the left front. And then we just want to place down a dark oak wood fence gate opened up uh, facing toward this dark oak wood top slab like that. After we have that done, we can go ahead and grab ourselves some placeholder blocks, um, just uh, you know, kind of visualize how far back we need to go uh, from this dark oak wood top slab. So from this dark oak wood top slab, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four blocks, or skip a space of four. We then want to place down a row of three here of stone brick top slabs all the way across, and then we're going to delete that uh, row of blocks there, um, as we don't need them anymore. Uh, on the side here, this stone brick top slab on both sides, we're going to place down another brick up sound stair uh, facing toward the front of the vehicle. After that, we're going to place down another narrow brick upside down stair, come off the back of that stair to complete our rear axle. Coming off the center stone brick top slab, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab, followed by a wooden trap door on both sides. And then we just want to place down a row of three wooden trap doors, going across the wooden trap doors and dark oak wood top slab like that for the back. Once you have that done, you should have something that looks just like this for layer one, a nice base for us to build the future layers upon. And uh, that's going to do it for your wheelbase. Anyways, with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer two. 
Alrighty guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer 2. For layer 2, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by taking a green hardened stank wave block, and we're going to place it down on top of this dark oak with top stab in the middle here. After that, we're then going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall, like this on both sides here. Uh, actually, my bad, I believe it's actually just a standard cobblestone wall, so my bad, so swapped out for just a standard cobblestone wall. After we have that done, we're going to place down one more green stank wave block coming off this middle one, going toward the front. We're going to place down a dark oak with up sound stair on both sides of this green stank wave block. After that, we're going to place down a row of three of upside down dark oak with stairs across the front here. So the two on either side are going to be corner stairs, and then we're going to have a regular stair right there in the middle. All right, guys, so go ahead and continuing on. Um, so once we have that done the front here, we're going to go and take a narrow big stair. We're going to place down two stairs back to back on both sides on top of the upside down stairs we placed in the previous layer. So you have something that looks just like that for the front of the vehicle. After that's complete there, we're going to go and take our green stakeway blocks. We're going to place down a row of three across behind the green stakeway block and the cobblestone walls. We then want to place down a dark oak wood stair just like this on both sides, like that. Uh, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a row of five of green stink clay across, followed by a second row of five directly after it. Um, continuing on, we're going to place down a row of three green stink clay, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides like that. Um, actually, by about only on the left side, and then over here on the right side, we're actually going to place down a green shulker box, which we want to have it placed down so it's like this, so kind of upside down like that. And we're going to place down a zombie head coming off the side layer of it for the uh, the muffler. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a green stink wave block on the center stone brick top side of that row of three. Followed by a cobblestone wall on both sides. Um, we then want to place down another brick stair on top of that upside down narrow brick stair. Just like that for the wheel again. And just another narrow brick stair behind um, that stair like that to go ahead and complete our wheels. Um, after that, we're going to place down a row of three in between these narrow brick stairs across like that. And then on the back here, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall in the middle. Followed by a dark oak wood stair like this on both sides with its backs facing toward the outside. And then we just want to take signs and place down a row of three of signs across the monster cobblestone wall and the two stairs like that. Also on the back of these stairs we're going to grab ourselves some wooden trap doors and we're going to place down a wooden trap door on the back of both those uh, dark oak wood stairs. So you get something that looks just like this. If you go ahead and take a look at it from above we should have something that looks just like this for the base of our vehicle. And once we have that complete we can go and move on to our next layer which is going to be layer 3. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 3. For layer 3 to start off with, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oakwood slabs. We're going to place down a row of 3 of dark oakwood slabs across the bottom of these dark oakwood stairs. After that's done, we're going to place down a dark oakwood slab coming off of this row of 3 of slabs over here onto the right side. And over here on the left side, we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to place down a dark oakwood stair facing that direction like so, which will be basically where our antenna attaches to later on. So just like that for right now. Um, after we have that done, we're going to take our green stain clay, we're going to place down a row of three across the middle like so, followed by an upside down dark oak wood stair on both sides of it, just like that, and we want it facing toward the rear of our vehicle. Continuing on, we're going to place down another row of three of green stain clay across the middle, followed by a dark oak wood top slab on both sides, just like that. Going ahead, continuing on, we're going to place down a, another row of three of green stain clay across, followed by a dark oak wood slab on top of the dark oak wood stair on both sides, and also a sign on the side of this dark oak wood slab, like so. Um, continuing on, we're going to place down a row of five of green stained clay across, followed by a second row of five after that. And um, actually, my bad, I forgot one thing. Uh, we do have spruce wood planks over here, so we're going to place down, uh, we're going to place these two green stained clay blocks here with two spruce wood planks. And on the side of these two spruce wood planks, uh, or just on the side of one of them, we're going to place down a stone button, like so. After that, on top of this shulker box right here, we're going to place down another shulker box like that. We then want to place down one, two, and three green stain clay blocks in the middle here, followed by another mossy cobblestone wall on the left side. Continuing on, we're going to place down another row of three of green stain clay across, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides. We then want to place down another row of three of green stain clay across, followed by again another dark oak wood stair upside down on both sides like that for the fenders over the wheels. Along the back here, we're just going to take our green stain clay, place down a row of five that goes all the way across, like that. We're going to take signs and we're going to place down signs around the corner green stain clay blocks. So just like this on both corners like that. And we also want to go and grab ourselves a zombie head and place down a zombie head on this green stain clay block there in the center. And once you guys have that all done, that's going to almost do it for this layer. We have one last thing. We actually want to go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames. And on these two dark oak wood slabs right there in the front, we're going to place down two item frames with glass blocks in them. And also a sign to cover it up like that for the front headlights. Once we have that all done, that's going to do it for layer 3. With that, let's move on to layer 4. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 4. For layer 4, we're going to start off by placing down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this dark oak wood stair right here up here on the left front. 
After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a end rod on top of these two dark oak wood up downstairs on both sides, followed by a stone button on both sides, just like that. After we have that done, we actually want to make a quick adjustment here. Uh, we can't actually put down zombie heads on top of end rods, so we will actually need to break those end rods real quick, place down a placeholder block, and on top of that, uh, we're going to place down a zombie head at about a 30 degree angle. Um, so something kind of like that is what we want. Make sure they're about the same angle on both sides. And we're just going to go and break the block underneath them and then place down end rods like that to create our um, mirror view or basically our side mirrors uh, like that. After we have that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a green carpet on top of these two dark oak wood uh, upside down stairs on both sides. We then want to place down two mossy cobblestone walls on both sides like this, followed by a spruce wood top sub there in the middle. After that, continuing on, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top sub in the middle, coming off that center uh, spruce wood top sub. We then want to place down a spruce wood upside down stair on both sides of this dark oak wood top slab just like that continuing on we're going to go and take our green stained clay uh, we're going to place down one two three and four across to so start on the left side and then over here on this side we're going to place down our spruce wood plank which is going to have a tripwire hook coming off the side of it and then we want to place down another row just like this so a row for green stained clay and a spruce wood plank over here on the right side with a stone button on the side um, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh green banners we're gonna place down a green banner coming off these two uh blocks here so one of the spruce wood plank and one of this green stain clay block just like that on both sides uh continuing on we're gonna place down a uh, green stain clay block coming off the center block right here followed by a spruce wood plank on both sides and then we just want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall coming off those two spruce wood planks going to both sides uh continuing on we're gonna take our stone brick slabs we're gonna place down a row of three across followed by a green carpet on both sides we then want to go and place down a stone brick slab here in the middle, followed by a stone pressure plate on either side, and then again a green carpet on top of that dark, dark oak wood stair on both sides. Um, after we have that done, we're going to go and grab ourselves a wooden trap door. We're going to place down a wooden trap door on top of this green stain clay block here, followed by two stone buttons on either side of it. And then we just want to grab ourselves a wooden pressure plate and place down a wooden pressure plate over here on the right side on top of this green stain clay block in the corner. And over here on the left side, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall, which will be part of our um, antenna uh, later on anyways once we have uh, that all done that's going to do it for uh, layer four with that let's move on to our next layer layer five all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer five for layer five what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by grabbing ourselves a dark oak wood stair we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on both these uh, upside down spruce wood stairs up here in the front we then want to place down a nether brick top slab in between those uh, dark oak wood stairs followed by one two and three more uh, nether brick top steps coming off that center one like that to create uh, your gun right here. Um, so once we have that uh, done, we're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves an iron bar. We're going to place down an iron bar on top of this cobblestone wall up here and also on top of this cobblestone wall back here. Uh, we will also need to grab ourselves an end rod. We're going to place down the end rod coming off this dark liquid stair over here on the left side. At that stem, we're going to place down a row of three, a green stain clay across, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. And on the side of the mossy cobblestone wall, we're also going to place down a sign that comes off of it like so after that uh, we then want to place down another row of three here green stain clay followed by again another mossy cobblestone wall on both sides and a sign also uh, on uh, both those cobblestone walls one quick addition we also want to make is we actually want to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone buttons and we're going to place down a row of two of stone buttons on these green stain clay blocks so just go ahead and make that quick little addition there and uh, continuing on to layer five uh, we then want to place down a green stain clay block coming off the center of that row of three followed by a stone button we're then going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides, just like that, to kind of, uh, you know, round it off the turret. And once we have that all done, that's going to do it for layer 5. With that, we're going to move on to our final layers, which are basically going to be layers 6, uh, 7, and 8. We're going to put the top of our, basically the rest of our antennas on, and the top of the turret, and pretty much finish this build off. So with that, let's move on to our last final layers. Alrighty, so moving on to our last final layers, we have layers 6 through 8. For these layers, we're going to go and start off by placing down an iron trap door on top of this narrow brick top slab here. We then want to go ahead and go back to our uh, first uh, narrow brick slab that's right here in between these two dark liquid stairs. And we're going to place down a redstone comparator facing that direction like so. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of dark liquid slabs across so that row of three green stain clay blocks. Followed by a zombie head uh, to the side here, which is going to be at about a 45 to possibly even like a 30 degree-ish angle. Something kind of like that. And it's going to be the same thing on both sides. Just make sure it's the same on both sides like that. So about a 30 degree angle. Um, after that, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank here in the center, followed by a dark oak wood stair like this on both sides of it. And also on top of that green, that uh, spruce wood plank, we're going to place down a stone button. Again, on both sides here, we're going to place down another zombie head at about, again, a 30 degree angle. So the same thing we did for this one up here. 
except it's kind of facing a different direction. So just like that on both sides. Continuing on, we then want to place down a dark oak wood stair, come off this spruce wood plank right here. And on both sides in the corners here, we're going to place down a zombie head uh, again, this time again at about a 30 degree angle. So it should look something kind of like this on both sides there. And you should get a kind of a nice round effect there for the turret. Um, once we have that all complete, the last thing for us to do is just to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron bars and to build three more iron bars on top of our current existing antenna. So one, two, and three. And same thing back here. Uh, we want to go up one, two, and three like that. Once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for the Panhard 178. If you guys want to go ahead and uh, see how to put the camo on, as you can see right here in front of me, I'm going to be going ahead and moving on to that next in the tutorial. But if you guys just want the vehicle itself, you're pretty much good to go. And hope you guys do enjoy it. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the camo and uh, wrap this uh, vehicle up. Alright guys, so moving on to the camo. Now when it comes to you guys doing the camo yourselves, I really do recommend that you guys uh, try to switch it up, do something different, don't just try to copy exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to kind of give you guys a basic idea of what I kind of think about when I do the camo for it and what you guys can kind of do to make your own and stuff like that. Especially if you have a couple of these in like one area, it's good definitely to vary up the camo a little bit having different little uh, kind of like patterns instead of having the same repeated pattern over and over again. And uh, it's pretty simple to do. Now, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be mixing in some red sandstone pretty much into the build to make it look, you know, have a little bit of a color scheme to it of kind of like a reddish kind of brownish color. An orangish brownish color is what uh, kind of camo we're going for. Um, and we don't really have a, a perfect block for it, but red sandstone is pretty much the best we got. So. Um, anyways, to go ahead and do this, uh, basically we're going to kind of do more of kind of splotches. This thing doesn't really have too much in terms of actual striping and stuff like some aircraft do, uh, which some of the cameras we've done before, but it has more of kind of splotches. So we're going to keep that in mind while we're doing it. Now, uh, we're just going to go ahead and, you know, uh, switch out some blocks here and there and make sure it's very important that whatever blo blo block you uh, break, you want to make sure that you replace it with the same block that was in that location. So if we break this green stainquay block here, we're going to want to replace that with a full block of red smooth sandstone and also the stone button on top of it. We don't want to forget that. Um, again, we're going to break this block here. We're going to replace it so we get something that kind of looks like that. You can see over here with the slabs and the stairs, we want to make sure that we replace those blocks that we break. Um, so we have a little splotch up here on the left front. We go over to the right side. The right side's a little plain here, so we're going to go and maybe add a little bit of a splotch over here on the fenders. And we'll have this go back like so we can choose to place down green carpet on the top here if we want but i'm just going to leave it without and uh, we'll just kind of have it a little splotch here on uh, the side there maybe maybe something like that so a little splotch there on the side on this side right here we definitely want to put some um, stuff in so we want to leave a little bit of green right in this area so we're going to go ahead and put another kind of big splotch here of red sandstone and it's kind of going to kind of work back and you can even replace the blocks behind the mossy cobblestone walls unfortunately we don't have orange cobblestone walls so we can't really do much there uh, but we can kind of show that it's behind there by putting the orange back there. And we can even have it flow into the fender a little bit uh, by putting in some, you know, uh, orange, uh, or of course, some red sandstone there, just like that. Um, and uh, once we have that done, we can move to the back here. Uh, so the back, we already have some orange kind of going on here. So we may want to put some in this back area right here. So we're just going to go and kind of, you know, break this area a little bit. And of course, you know, we're going to have to replace all these blocks that we do break. So we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to go and put a, another uh, upside down block right in there. May want to replace this one on the inside there as well. So we need to replace our pressure plate and do the same thing right here. This one's going to have a green carpet on top of it. And we can have it kind of flow down into that section like that. So we have another little splotch there. Now we have uh, the turret up here, uh, which we need to go and add on to. So we could try to connect it to existing kind of like kind of colors. So we could have a little, like a little bit of a stripe go through it. And I think that's what we'll do. We'll kind of have like an orange... Uh, you know stair kind of pick up here so it kind of looks like it flows up into the turret and we'll place down a narrow orange um, you know block here a sandstone slab there one across here and maybe one over here kind of flows over to this side a little bit so something kind of like that and that's pretty much how you do it uh, we can also maybe put one on the back here too if we want to just to put in a little splotch on the back there and uh, pretty much call it good that's really how you do the camo it's really simple um, nothing too crazy that's for sure and just adds a little bit of color and a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of a different design into the build, which definitely, uh, definitely works in its favor. So, uh, feel free to kind of add the camo on it. Of course, you could replace that with whatever box you want. You could do like a white or something like that to kind of give more of a winter camo or just go crazy. You can do a lot of cool things with it and um, everything like that. Anyways, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys do it using this design, I do I so you guys give me proper credit for it. 
this being thing from a side of the build tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites just be sure you get proper credit for the build that's all i ask for doing these tutorials it helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these videos so as long as you guys give me credit for it you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on again a special thanks to patreon supporter trench fighter 8 for making this video possible and feel free to check out my patreon page if you guys are interested and that thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been garrett 24 and i'll see you guys next time